What is good everyone? It is none other than Rollo Tenado Jr. here, Dunks are nice, and man, it's been quite a while since I actually talked in front of the camera just right here when I'm sitting at my work desk. So if you guys have been keeping up, then you guys already know that I've already came back from Paris and London, basically the Europe part, back here in the Bay Area. So I could really talk about, you know, the whole issue with my knee, but for, you know, for those very curious and to know what happened, basically, you know, my knee is a lot better. I can run, I can walk normal now. So my knee's in good health. I know a lot of people were trying to figure out what the hell happened with my knee, but my knee's cool now, you know. I didn't tear my meniscus, I didn't tore it, Anything bad happened just in general, but my knee is cool now. Other than that, you know, my whole knee situation, it's good, guys. It's good. So you guys already know the deal. I'm not going to waste any of you guys' time. So I got these pickups here from Paris and London or, you know, Europe in general. But, and I had some packages waiting over. All right, let's see here. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with probably the... The clothes first, or the shoes, uh, I don't know, let's, just, let's go start off with the clothes. Or actually, like, accessories. So, first things up is this Supreme item in this bag. Got the Supreme sticker, got these two stickers right here. And this is none other than the Rose Gold Metallic messenger type of carry bag shoulder bag metallic bag whatever you want to call it but it's this one here uh this one's pretty much going to be reselling but no not that much i really need to go into the item itself but this is a rose gold north face collabo with supreme uh lately i've been looking at a lot of supreme items so if anybody has like uh the older supreme item stuff like the the apparel the tees or the hoodies or jackets hit your boy up because i'm actually really interested in that and i've been like you know on grail and go and looking at those kind of things i've been looking at older stuff and i'm having my eyes on a lot of things especially the cdg polka dot the gray one with the red box low yeah i've been looking at that one and i know it's pricey anywhere from about like five two thousand or probably more or whatever it is but uh if anybody has like all the older stuff and willing to sell it to me let your boy know man you guys know how to contact me next up we got this tea right here from bait this one i gotta give a shout out to bobby he actually sold me this he actually picked this one up in um japan actually so it's this right here it's the undefeated vape script type t which is exactly like this very common but in the front you see that undefeated logo and that abc type camo and yeah man it's pretty just much a white blank t with the script in the front the logo you know and again the undefeated where it says ape so yeah this one's super clean has that more vibrant bright of the green camo again that collabo with babe like this one a lot so this one was actually a pickup i got actually in paris this was actually the last size small and i was trying it on and you know it was one of those things where like yo should i get it should i not get it i wasn't too sure but i said you know what i'm out here i want to get something exclusively in the store here in paris Bape, so I said, why not? So this one is the undefeated Bape Clabo. This one is the ABC jacket. Pretty much no hood. It's kind of like a coat jacket style. Just very similar like this. The material on this one, it's very similar to like a Gore-Tex type material texture to it. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but you know, this one's really super clean. But uh, you know, the ABC camo, the green stands out a lot more. So I really like that one a lot. So this is the only pickup I really picked up at the Paris Bait. A lot of other sizes were sold out. They only had like large, 2XL, XL, and you know, for me, I need a small or medium. So in the jackets alone, in Bait, I need a small. So it's pretty much no brainer. It was like the last small. So I was like, yo, pick it up. Why not? And all the tees and everything else was just a lot my size. And I need a medium in those along with the hoodies and stuff. But for jackets, I need a small and it's this one right here, the undefeated collaboration with Bape super clean like this one a lot so yeah this jacket right here so that's pretty much all the apparel items i didn't really pick up too much but at the nike pair store this is the one that i got off nike.com the sneakers app it's a uh, basically a dead stock pair of blacksmith threes and i told myself that i wasn't gonna wear this till i actually got another pair so luckily paris you know it just had pairs sitting there and i said hey can i get a size nine in the u.s i got me a pair and i've been wearing this pair for more than a month straight now probably a solid month just to try out see how the quality it is and everything and i'm probably gonna go and talk about that in another video or have some posts on ig or something like that if you guys aren't following me on instagram it's the at dunks for nice so i've been wearing this one straight solid and i'm pretty impressed with the quality on these so i picked up another pair of black cement threes this one is ds until this one is further much just demolished so another pair of black cement threes you guys speaking of black cement threes uh i was able to get uh another baby pair and this one is a 7c so i got 
this one. And I said, you know what? I kind of want like a bigger size. For me, this is my all time favorite sneakers in Jordans. Here's another size. This one is a one Y. So I was like, I want another bigger size, but for whatever reason, I kind of just want to have all the sizes from like the smallest and all the way to the biggest, you know, or my size in general, the size nine. So I ended up getting a smaller size and like a a one Y. Again, don't don't ask me. I just love this shoe a lot, and I I just want to have like a whole army of it. If you understand where I'm coming from, then you know exactly where I'm coming from. But maybe smaller pairs, taller pairs, whatever you want to call it. Another pair of Black Cement threes in the smaller sizes. And the next one up is another pair of Air Jordan ones. Uh, you guys already know with the black and red Nike box. This one I got off from uh, Bash, Bay Area Sneakerheads, and I was looking for a pair for pretty much close to retail or just not as expensive as it should be for a resale price, but it's just none other than the Game Royals, the very common. I think you guys already know what I'm gonna do to it. I'm pretty much gonna make a poor man frag version, paint this area black, and that's pretty much all you really have to do with the shoes. But that's another reason why I got it. I'm not the only one who's done it or has thought about it. But this one right here, I gotta give a shout out to Christian because he actually picked this one up for me because I was heading out to Paris and I was like, yo man, can you think you can pick this one up for me? And he did, so I gotta stop calling him trash because I usually say that to him. So shout out to Chris Christian, Christian Renato. I'll put his information, his YouTube link down below. And then speaking of ones, I already kind of opened it, but this is none other than um, so I was looking for I was looking for shadows for like a really good price uh, This pair did come from House of Hoops Foot Locker. So this is the bag I'm gonna set that aside real quick kind of like to keep those things go you guys already see it the shoe tag if you already know I did a video on these this is the retro of the shadows and like I said I gotta give a shout out to Soul Dope it has a three uh, we go kind of like way back playing online on Xbox but uh he hit me up and I was like yo man uh, I wonder how much you're selling it for. Hopefully it's not too bad. And it actually sold me for a really good price. So it actually ended up selling me a pair of shadows for pretty much closer to retail. So I'm pretty happy about that. It's not as higher or above, you know, what the current resale value is. So I got to give a shout out to So Dope with a three. And I was just looking for a pair for just a good price just to have because I wanted to like stop beating the hell out of my other pair of shadows from 2013. But another pair of shadow ones can't go wrong. Classic colorway. All right, you guys, this is the last pickup in this video. And before I go in and show you what this is, some of you guys already know or some of you guys may not know. The homie picked this one up for me because I was in Paris and when these releases was something I was kind of going after. I said, you know what? If I don't get it on the release date or on the sneaker app or on the websites or anything like that, I'm going to I kind of had to pay resale because that's just how kind of things are nowadays the homie is the homie when you know they actually sell it to you for really close to retail so shout out to homie you know who you are i'm not gonna say your name but again you know who you are and if you're watching this thank you very much i really appreciate it you guys already seen it you already know what this box is the only problem why i want to talk about the box specifically is because like there's actually water damage to it now you guys kind of see it here the whole the front of the lid box and just the discoloration on the tag but you know besides that and the damage being you know on the very top of the box and you guys can kind of see it here there's like water marks again I don't don't ask me how or anything like that the shoe was picked up from bows and arrows in Berkeley California they're an authorized place to sell Nike authentic sneakers so I'll put that information down below for those who are curious I always do this for a lot of things I always fold and put the you know the plastic stuff in another plastic but uh, yeah, but these guys are none other than the Air Max 1, Air Max 97, or however you guys want to go about it. The Air Max 197, Sean Witherspoon's super clean. They look so much better in person. If you have a chance to actually check them out in person, I suggest going and doing that because they actually really do look a lot better in person. And I'm pretty sure you guys seen a lot of videos doing a lot of reviews on these, so I'm not gonna go into so much detail about the shoe. But I did want to go and point out one thing with this. Besides like the gold accents lace tip endings, that nice corduroy uppers that you have on the uppers, along with that peel off logo you can put on the tongue i think what's really cool about this shoe is the actually the insoles the materials that's inside on the sneakers it's actually like a velour i don't even know what kind of material this it's like a super shiny type material to it and obviously you got the little nice little smiley face right here so the materials that's actually on the insoles is the same materials that's on the inside part of the shoe along with the other side of the tongue it's like this velvet material texture to it but it, it feels really nice it's a nice touch to the sneaker but going back to what i was saying if you do see this in person held them in person check them out 
they look a lot better than they do actually in pictures. So if you have the chance, definitely check them out. So besides all the sneaker pickups and all the clothing items and all the apparel and everything that's just surrounding me right now in this video that you have seen, I gotta clean up this mess. But I'm doing a lot better. I'm feeling a lot better. If you guys see my vlogs, if you haven't, I'll put the card right above. <laughs> my knee's feeling a lot better. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below what you guys think about this whole pickup video and everything. I hope you guys have a good week. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, you guys, you guys have a good one, man. I'm out, you guys. Hey, mm. yo, mm. what's good? What's up, y'all? Hey, mm. I've been careful. I'm gonna kill. So, if that I've already came back from this one was, um, this one I gotta give a shout. Mm. What do you have a specific? I think this one has like a specific name to it. Uh, that's kind of it with all the, with all the, uh, oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm like, but otherwise than that, that's all the clothing apparel items, so next up, hold on, before I go and show what, but these guys are none, um, so from the B-roll footage, you guys see it moving like this, so, yeah, that, let me see, can I show this freaking thing on the camera?